Today's Mass is offered for Walter McDonald. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, through my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty and sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. The first reading is a reading from the book of Exodus. In those days, Amalek came and waged war against Israel. Moses therefore said to Joshua, Pick out certain men, and tomorrow go out and engage Amalek in battle. I will be standing on top of the hill with the staff of God in my hand. So Joshua did as Moses told him. He engaged Amalek in battle after Moses had climbed to the top of the hill with Aaron and Hur. As long as Moses kept his hands raised up, Israel had the better of the fight. 
but when he let his hands rest, Amalek had the better of the fight. Moses' hands, however, grew tired, so they put a rock in place for him to sit on. Meanwhile, Aaron and Hur supported his hands, one on one side and one on the other, so that his hands remained steady till sunset. And Joshua mowed down Amalek and his people with the edge of the sword. The word of the Lord. Our help is from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Our help is from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. I lift up my eyes toward the mountains, when shall help come to me? My help is from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Our help is from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. May he not suffer your foot to slip. May he slumber not who guards you. Indeed, he neither slumbers nor sleeps, the guardian of Israel. Our help is from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. The Lord is your guardian, the Lord is your shade. He is beside you at your right hand. The sun shall not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. Our help is from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. The Lord will guard you from all evil, he will guard your life. The Lord will guard your coming and your going, both now and forever. Our help is from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. The second reading is a reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, remain faithful to what you have learned and believed, because you know from whom you learned it, and that from infancy you have known the sacred scriptures, which are capable of giving you wisdom for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful for teaching, for refutation, for correction, and for training in righteousness, so that one who belongs to God may be competent, equipped for every good work. I charge you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who will judge the living and the dead, and by his appearing and his kingly power, proclaim the word, be persistent whether it is convenient or inconvenient. Convince, reprimand, encourage through all patience and teaching. The word of the Lord. Alleluia.
The Lord be with you. Your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. To you, Lord. Jesus told his disciples a parable about the necessity for them to pray always without becoming weary. He said, there was a judge in a certain town who neither feared God nor respected any human being. A widow in that town used to come to him and say, render a just decision for me against my adversary. For a long time, the judge was unwilling, but eventually he thought, while it is true that I neither fear God nor respect any human being, because this widow keeps bothering me, I shall deliver a just decision for her lest she finally come and strike me. The Lord said, pay attention to what the dishonest judge says. Will not God secure the rights of his chosen ones who call out to him day and night? Will he be slow to answer them? I tell you, he will see to it that justice is done for them speedily. But when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? The Gospel of the Lord. Thanks to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We heard about Moses in the first reading. That his hands are raised to the Lord for a very long time. Can you imagine having to keep your hands up like that for a long period of time? You know, 24 hours, a whole day, your hands like this? You're gonna get tired, right? You're gonna become sore. You're gonna wanna sit down and rest. And he had people come on either side of him holding his arms up to, so he could keep going. He didn't give up. The same is, the, we, we hear the same about the widow in the gospel today, that she keeps going to the, the judge over and over again, even though the judge, does, he doesn't care. He, does, he's not a, he, fears, he doesn't fear the Lord. He doesn't respect anyone. But finally she gets through to him through her persistency. God answers us when we pray, when we ask. We just can't expect, we don't know how he will respond to our prayers. Because these things don't happen in our time. They happen only in God's time. With perseverance, patience, it can be hard for us. We want things to be convenient for us, right? We want things to happen quickly, right? To fit into our schedules, right? We don't want to be you know, troubled, or things, you know, when things get too hard, too challenging, we, you know, we kind of set them aside, and we don't want to, you know, say, oh, I'm just too tired to deal with that right now. It's easy for that to, for us to feel that way. In St. Paul's letter today, and it's a very powerful letter, he is encouraging Timothy not to be afraid to suffer, to keep faith, to be faithful, and to inspire the people. 
Even though they're going to be persecuted, tortured, that the faith must stay strong. When I hear St. Paul's letter, we all hear, we hear his words. We're reminded that we are, we are all living in a very tough world. It is a hard world. We, have, we know we have an election coming up very soon next month. And it can be overwhelming and stressful for us all when these things happen. I want to show you uh, my experience. And this is from my, some of you know I take CrossFit. And I, I was thinking of this about when you know, Moses' arms are raised for all that period of time, how sore he was. I thought of it in one of our exercises in CrossFit, which is they're called planks. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. Don't try this at home. You're down on your arms like this. And you have to do that for two, three, four, five minutes at a time. You, you're doing it, you know, it works your, your, your abs. This is perseverance and patience to that type of exercise. And it's similar to our faith. Our faith isn't always going to be easy. Just like that plank wasn't easy, you're going to become sore and tired and you know, overwhelmed and push your body to the limits. We have to do the same with our prayers and our faith, just as the widow did in the gospel today. We can't stop, and we can't stop because we don't receive the answer that we want or when we, you know, the answer right away from God when we pray. We have to continue, never cease to pray. Can't look to God and say, God, you haven't answered my prayers yet. What's going on here? No, that's not, that's not the attitude we need to have. We need to continue to pray. His grace will be given to us. We will see it. I guarantee, without a doubt, through prayer, constant prayer, when it's easy, when it's not easy, to pray unceasingly. God bless you all. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who was spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Father, we now offer you our prayers for our needs and the needs of the world. For the Pope's monthly intention that the church 
ever faithful to and courageous in preaching the gospel, may be a community of solidarity, fraternity, and welcome, always living in an atmosphere of synodality. We pray to the Lord. <clears throat> For Bishop Sean, that we support him generously, as he has asked us to, by participating in the Catholic appeal, we pray to the Lord. For our military, we pray to the Lord. For all who are sick and in distress in any way, especially those listed in the bulletin for ongoing prayers, we pray to the Lord. For those who have died, we pray to the Lord. And today we pray in a special way for Walter McDonald, for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. For the victims of Hurricane Ian, and all who are impacted in that area. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we thank you for hearing our prayers and answering them by your will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our offertory hymn is number 224. Number 224. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in splendor with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave Maria. In heaven the 
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant us, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For when your children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gather them again to yourself, that a people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit might, to the praise of your manifold wisdom, be manifest as the church. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of us, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which he poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Cardinal Sean, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Walter MacDonald, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who is united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. On you stay, we toll his pack a tamundi, misarara nobis. On you stay, we toll his pack a tamundi, misarara nobis. On you stay. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Come, Holy Ghost, Creator blessed, and in our hearts take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou
Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord, amen. We have a few quick announcements. First is tonight, we have our spaghetti dinner with a side of ASL, American Sign Language. We are welcome to join us. We're gonna be in the school hall right after mass. You can buy a ticket. Uh, I think it's $10 in person, uh, $10 for each person, a couple is $15. Families, mom, dad, and children are 20 for a whole family. So please join us. The deaf, uh, Boston Deaf community is here to help you with some sign language and to play a game of Uno. So it's going to be a good time. So we're right in the hall. We're going to meet in the front of the, the, the front door will be, uh, tickets will be available at the front door and we look forward to seeing you there. And it starts at 5.30. Another announcement is Sunday, October 30th at 10.30 in the morning at the, uh, after the, the 10.30 Mass. We're going to have a pumpkin patch for the children. We can come in costumes. They should be appropriate costumes. Nothing too scary or anything like that. No weapons. Uh, you know, it's church. <laughs> but after Mass, but then after Mass, the parking lot, we're going to have, not, so, not trick or treat, trunk or treat. So our trunks will be open. People will be at the, we're encouraging you to come, bring candy, and you can open up the back of your car, and the kids will come dressed in the costumes, and they'll, you can give out candy to the kids at, at, in the parking lot. So come join us, be part of that trunk or treat on Sunday, October 30th. It's going to be a lot of fun. There's more information in the bulletin, so please grab one on your way out. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Our recessional hymn is number 182, number 182. Sure. 